All right, now I'm going to talk to you just briefly now about file structure in Pro Tools, which is a, a, a key thing to understand. Um, so I'm going, to, I'm going to just hide Pro Tools here. Pro Tools, hide. And I'm going to go into my Lacy drive, which I have my session on. And you can see here, uh, it's called Test Session 1. This is the session that we're in right now. And I just want to go through uh, how Pro Tools structures their uh, the, uh, their files. When you create a new session, it's going to create this folder, test session one. It's just the name, whatever you name your, your session, it'll create a folder. Inside of that folder will be uh, several things. Will be your, your .ptf file, which is, your, which is your session file. This is the file that you click on to open up the session. Um, it's this, uh, this folder here is a really cool uh, thing that Pro Tools does, session file backups. If I open up this folder, you'll see that it has about 20 uh, backups that, that it's making every five minutes. Uh, every five minutes, Pro Tools will autosave your session uh, just with this, this little, uh, you know, this, uh, this protocol here, test session 1.bak.12. And, and uh, you know, so every five minutes, if you forget to save uh, and your computer crashes or whatever, you can go to this session file backups folder and, oh, look, it saved it uh, three minutes ago. So you're in good shape. So that's a really cool feature, the session file backups. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned when we were talking about fade files, when you, when you create a fade inside of Pro Tools, it creates a new audio file, and those are stored in the fade files folder. And here they are. It names them just kind of uh, uh, strange strange things. It's kind of auto names them, uh, unique names. And that's the fade files. Under that we have the video files, which we, we, don't, we don't have any video in our session, but if we did, uh, the video files would be stored, stored in this folder. And then we have the region groups, which we didn't create any region groups. Uh, that's another advanced feature, but if we had, they'd be stored in this folder as well. And then, um, Underneath that, we have our audio files folder. This is where all of the audio that you record in your session is stored. If I click on that, you'll see uh, my, you know, you'll see the acoustic there. Here's the drum track that we that we imported, um, and this is where so this is where all your audio is stored. So uh, it's it's a it's a it's a cool unique way of um, of uh, of managing your files uh, so that your your session file isn't isn't a large file. This this session file is only 80 kilobytes. It's, it keeps the session file very small. The only things that are stored in the actual session file are the, uh, the automation data, the, the, the mixer data. You know, it keeps your settings stored and, and everything like that. But all of the big stuff, the audio, if you have video, the video, the fade files are stored in separate folders. So it's a, it's a really slick uh, system that they have going. And it's good to understand it if you want to uh, understand Pro Tools.